like this and like that and like this and I'm like this. How do we clean our canister filters? How do we clean our hang on the back filters in all of our aquariums? I know if anybody has been keeping aquariums for long enough and you've done your research, you found that they recommend taking all your sponge filters and all the media inside your canister filters and taking some of that aquarium water out of your aquarium and filling a bucket up and just gently rinsing those sponge filters off in that aquarium water and making sure that uh, you easily don't squeeze them too hard and wring them out and all this stuff. And I know because this is how I did it for a while, but as time went on, there's a better, easier way. Let's get right into this. Let's talk about this subject right here. So what I try to do on my channel is make things a lot more cost, cost effective, easier for you. If you have multiple tanks and you really get into it, you can have those and it doesn't have to be a chore as long as you get into a good ritual and a good schedule and you know all the ways to save money. I got lots of videos on that on my channel. You can check them out. But recently a friend of mine, Patty's Aquatics, putting his link right up here on a video he did about this and uh, I agree with him 100%. So uh, go ahead and check his channel out too. Very knowledgeable, good dude, keeping fish for a long time. But let's get back to the subject about cleaning these filters. You don't have to clean them in tank water. You are not going to kill off all your beneficial bacteria that has built colonies up in your filter media by doing this. And I can also put a link up here to the one and only Primetime Aquatics who did a sub a video on this explaining in depth deep detail that he did on this from and research he did on this from scientists proving that this is just not the case. But what I'm talking about is cleaning all your reusable filter media such as sponges, pinky floss, whatever you use as your filter media you can clean off in your tap water. I have done it anywhere from using the aquarium water, which just takes a lot more time because after you start rinsing it off in the bucket that you put your aquarium water in to clean these things, they get dirty, you got to dump it, you got to do it again. This adds minutes upon minutes to the beginning of your aquarium maintenance before you even start cleaning the aquarium because you don't want to drain all your water down and not have enough to do that, right? So now... All my sponges, all my pre-filters and stuff like that, I just go ahead and I take them right over to the tap water and I rinse them out real good. It's faster, it gets them cleaner, and you can put them right back in there and not have a problem. Check these videos out that I posted above and, and you'll see that they agree. And it's, it's not such as a big deal as you think and it saves you a lot of time. There's just way too much bacteria colonized in these things and it takes the chloramine and chlorine or whatever you have in your tap water it's just not going to kill all your beneficial bacteria off. not enough to cause an issue in your tank because all beneficial bacteria doesn't all just live in your filter a good bit of it does but also a good bit of it lives in your substrate on all surfaces such as your glass your rocks your decor all this stuff it's still in there there's too much in your tank that this is not going to affect your beneficial bacteria so let me give you an example I got over here on my 125 gallon Oscar tank. So right here you can see I have to use a pre-filter in this tank because I got the real sand I got from PetSmart. And the issue with this sand is it's lighter and it floats in the column, the water column easier. And these guys over here, these Oscars, they love digging in the sand and pluming that sand up. So I had to put this on my FX6 because my FX6 was sucking up too much of that sand. So I used this pre-filter. Well, couple problems with that is I put this pre-filter on and it was just caving in and I have extras I would just swap it out put another one on and clean this one in the tap water if I was using the aquarium water I could not get that as clean I also learned a trick from Ben Ochart check his channel out here that you can take that tube and drill some holes in it. I took it off and I drilled about eight inch holes all around it in different spots. Put that back on and what that did is it stopped at the bottom of it where the main hole is from 
caving in and blocking the flow off. Now, this has been running a while at this point. That normally would have been caved in down there. As you can see, it's not caved in because now you're sucking water through the entire surface area of the sponge instead of just the bottom. And it works great. But if you look at this over here, it's still dirty enough, even with that method, that over here on my outputs, you can see how little flow I have. So although that helped the caving and blocking it off 100%, I still have very little flow here because that sponge filter is so dirty. So today I'm going to be pulling that off, putting a new clean one on, taking that over to the sink and cleaning that out thoroughly with tap water. Now this is a little bit different because I'm not worried about this with the beneficial bacteria it creates because I just use this as a pre-filter to keep sand out of my filter. It's not a big deal, but like I said, you can do the same thing with your canister filters. You know what, especially with canister filters, because what I like about canister filters, and my fish room is now 100% canister filters, um, is that I can go seven months without having to crack that bad boy open and clean it. But if you go too long, your filter can become a nitrate factory. You have to clean those out too, or you'll start getting elevated nitrates in your tank. So just like your aquarium, you need to periodically clean that out. What time frame that is for you is going to be different for everybody. So you'll have to figure that out and experiment with it. But canister filters are by far my favorite filtration. They last longer. They have lots of different trays that you can really customize a lot of media and play with it. And, uh, but in the end, I like to use reusable stuff like your sponges, your pinky floss, your, um, your uh, filter floss and um, polyfill and things like this. It's all cleanable, reusable, um, and, and cheaper, and it'll last you for years. And I don't buy into the uh, pre-made cartridges and stuff anymore because that's just a money-making scheme. So, yeah, I just wanted to put a little bit of video out on this and, and make sure you check them links out that I post on this video because <clears throat> it's going to even further prove the fact that you don't have to be scared about killing all your beneficial bacteria off by cleaning your media and dechlorinate un not chlorinate undechlorinated water it's just fine it's not going to kill the bacteria off enough to cause an issue see now like i told patty i said i i agree but the only thing that me and him have a difference of opinion on is i do not clean my bio rings or my bio media like your ceramic rings your matrix your pot scrubbers, whatever you want to use, I do clean those off in aquarium water. I don't feel that's a good idea to just flush the bio media with tap water. That's not, that has not been dechlorinated, but he says that he cleans that in tap water too, and he does not have an issue, and, it, and he's been good for years, so if that works for him, he has proof that it's fine. I just can't bring myself to do that when it comes to my bio media, because what I do works as well, but hey, this is how you learn. Everybody's aquariums are different. They're like a thumbprint, channel motto. Aquariums are like a thumbprint. They're all different. They can never be exactly the same. So what may work for me may not work for you. What may not work for Patty's Aquatics over there may work for me. So you get the idea. That's it. Wanted to put a little bit of a video out on this, um, showing you some proof that it does work for me. It does work for him, and it does work for Primetime Aquatics. And he, he went even, uh, and Patty posted the link to that video too, I believe. But uh, check it out. Yep. Relax, chill out. It just doesn't kill enough bacteria to cause a problem. So have a good day. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you like my content. And uh, help me grow. Till next video, guys. Thanks.